sir. Good morning, you too. Good morning, good morning, good morning. <laughs> Jesus calling him. <laughs> I should have worn my body. <laughs> Ready to go somewhere else? <laughs> we're out walking Maggie and, and we're uh, we're Blue Spring State Park and the manatees have it right. This is the place to be. Hope you're warm today. We're enjoying Florida weather even though it's not quite as warm as we thought it would be. It's kind of a gray overcast day today and today for us is a travel day. First thing we'll do is go back and we will um, get everything ready to start rolling down the road, which means playing that game of can you name that rattle and <laughs> do you have the rattle proof in place? Because even though it doesn't bother me as much, it bothers the crap out of me to hear all the rattles. So one of these days I'll show you on the road how many times she actually gets up from the passenger seat and goes back to the back of the van to uh, figure out why one particular thing is rattling. Uh, but she's got it worked out. We, we usually ride down the road in complete silence from the rattles, so that's good. And once we get packed up, we're going to head back over to the land. For the first time, we ordered something from Amazon while we're on the road, so we've got to figure out if that's gonna actually be there or not it's supposed to be there today Maggie is such a freaking creature of habit here's where we are this way to the spring we're walking around and we've just finished talking about the fact that we've got maybe 10 minutes worth of work to do before we can pull out but Maggie wants to go back to the spring because We've gone there the last two days, and she thinks that since we went there two days ago, we're supposed to be going this time. See, she wants to go down this. Let's take her to the end of the path, but I don't know about walking down to the spring. <laughs> I won, I won. She won. <laughs> that tail is wagging now. There are bunches of them out today. Uh, temperatures in the 40s. The spring is further up this way. And so they regulate their temperature based upon how close they are to the mouth of the spring. So the water's warmer there. So they're all congregating in this one area. But you can see there are hundreds. <laughs> Pretty sure our package has not arrived at the Amazon drop box but even still we're gonna go over here and check it out. I was just telling Lynn I'm a little nervous about this and I don't know why we've never been on the road like this where we didn't have at least some place we could have something shipped to us and I hate to admit it but we both are pretty hooked to buying things with buying things from Amazon and reading the reviews and making sure we're probably gonna get what we want so we purchased something we really, really need from Amazon, um, and it only cost twenty dollars, but it's coming in to an Amazon drop box here at a Seven Eleven. And I tell you what, I don't even have to go in. Oh wow! Let me show you what we see. This is an Amazon drop, drop box. box. That's pretty cool. Wow. Wasn't really sure about that, but isn't that the coolest little thing? Let me see if it's in yet. Well, I was a little premature. Uh, apparently, when it delivers, I'll get a, a code that I can enter in or a barcode that comes in the email, and it says it's still out for delivery. So we're going to now go to a bead store and let Lynn buy some things that she wants to purchase so that we can uh, start making Edward, jewelry Florida, in the van south. Then turn left on and as Florida, for we i mean me yeah yeah <laughs> mm -hmm. price tag lynn's back from her shopping trip to uh get some jewelry supplies mm -hmm. so what'd you get got some cutters yeah. which were reasonable mm -hmm. that's another thing i gotta get i got some these little findings these are just little things I'm going to put in the middle of the necklaces. Oh. And some beading wire. And no silver or anything? 
got some. Oh, look at all that. I've got some uh, doing different. I'm not, I didn't have a whole lot of gemstones, so th these are check beads or glass beads. So okay. I'm going to do Let me see if I can get on here and glass beads, and then these little things are going to go in the middle of them. Lynn and I are working on our ability to do pilot co-pilot while we're on the road like this, and she just found a Hobby Lobby, which is where we want to go next. And she, no, we're going to Michaels. Oh, we're going to Michaels. Okay. <laughs> and she texted me the address. And so now my next thing to do is to figure out how to get there. Twenty minutes away. Starting go. route to nine seventy one Harley Strickland Boulevard. Ah. So that'll work out pretty well. That's yeah. pretty easy. East on East Ridge Avenue. So a lot of times we're out on the road like that, and she'll be, she'll do the searching. But my phone's connected up to the Bluetooth of the van because we use it for all the data. So uh, that'll work really well. And then if you do that, the only problem is it brings it up in Apple Maps, and sometimes that's taken us to uh, a street in Nashville. It wasn't really even Nashville, so I'm not sure about that, but we'll keep that was going. A long time ago, <laughs> Maybe it's better. Maybe it's we'll... So, remember back whenever, if you're a guy and you were a bachelor and you had your first apartment, you didn't really care if things matched, did you? I know I didn't. You know, I, th I think I had empty uh, boxes for moving for a long time. In college, you just didn't care about things like that at all either. So, but when you get married, things change. One of the things that changes is that your wife wants things to match and you kind of get used to that and then way you might like it better but you might not ever admit it but i'm at kohl's right now while lynn is shopping somewhere else trying to find curtains a curtain to put in the very back of the van in between the bathroom and the place that we sleep so we can uh, just close it if we need to and then we don't have to use those rattly doors and so since Lynn bought the sheets in the comforter here at Kohl's, I'm here at Kohl's hoping they have something that matches it. But I'm not thinking I'm going to find anything. I think it's just interesting that, you know, when you, when you have a happy wife, you have a happy life. And find yourself at Kohl's shopping for something that will make her happy. Hey, I may have found something. So we're in Orange City, Florida. We're at a place called Fire on the Bayou. Lunch looks good. Look at this. Gumbo. Mm. Right out the windows of the van. There's Maggie in the window looking at us. Here we are again, I think, what, four hours later, I received an email from Amazon with a code that I'm supposed to type in at the Dropbox and I should be able to get our package. Let's see how this works. There's the big yellow box. The Amazon box. Yep. All right, let's see if I can Fingers read it down. enough. To, so you can tell from this, it's really hard to read this. Touch to start. Enter your code or scan your barcode. Okay, I'm going to enter my code. You could read this stupid thing. It'd be easier. Code accepted. Whoa. <laughs> it about bopped me in the head. That was crazy, wasn't it? Okay, here we go. That's the first one. Did you not get two? I did. There's only one in there. That's the very first time we've shipped anything at all through Amazon to a remote location like that. Mm -hmm. and it worked again. Yeah. We've got so many Amazon boxes that we collect at home that sometimes we get on the road and we just wish we... He loves Amazon. You do too, but we order almost... I don't almost, order half as much as you do. We order us. a bunch of things from <laughs> Amazon, but the cool thing is now that we know we can do this, 
if we see something we need while we're on the road, we can order it while we're going to another destination. And that's really cool. So just one more follow up. I received two messages from Amazon. They already know that I picked it up. <laughs> you gotta love it. Technology is just pretty cool these days. Yesterday was really pretty where we were, back at Orange City, but today it was really cloudy and cold. And it feels good as we're driving down the road to, to look straight ahead and actually be able to see blue skies. Here, let me show you what I mean. See the blue skies peeking through? You think it's cloudy? I think it looks pretty cloudy to me. You know, Lynn and Maggie both think I'm crazy. <laughs> You're wanting to see what it is. Maybe I should take my eyes cloudy, sweetie. It's not as cloudy as it was. Yeah, it's pretty cloudy. You're crazy. Okay. Never mind. Never mind me. Apparently it's cloudy, cloudy anyway. Yeah, oh, well. 47. 40s. So Lynn's back there once again playing What's That Rattle? We uh, are on Interstate 95 going south. And I guess. The fact that now we're going 70 miles an hour, actually only 65 miles an hour, with all the wind and the buffeting, is making things rattle just a little bit more. So this is the way she has to get over Maggie. You should know how much we love Maggie, that she's willing to do that every time. You think you got them all? No, way. probably not. <laughs> I don't hear any. Yeah. Name that rattle. Name that rattle. <laughs> Usually the same. 